to wait inside for whomever that is. I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Oh! Whoa! Alright, anyhow. I'm Something sorry I got... Okay, this, this does not look... This doesn't look kosher. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. wandered off. Oh, there he is, working at the forge. He always likes to keep himself busy. Anyhow, I've been given a, an urgent mission. Let me just pull up the parchment that I scribbled down my notes on. Captain Veleth told me that Adril Arano, second counselor of Raven Rock, wanted to speak to me immediately. I should find him and discover the reason for his urgent message. All right. Uh oh, you're finished, Nomadis? Well, come on. I think this might be him up ahead. It's like he's waiting for me. Adriel? Thank you for coming. After oh. everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more. But I can't risk Councillor Morvain being killed. What? He's in danger of being killed? How? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. Why would the Ulans want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Um, well... I don't know. You you do sound a bit paranoid. As second counselor, it's my responsibility to explore the possibility of any threat, no matter how paranoid it might seem. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. Oh, no. I don't want it to come to that. Oh, of course not. So you feel an attack on the counselor is imminent? I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Oh, no. Well, why haven't you acted on the information? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. So what will you do? Summoning you here was part of my plan. I was hoping you'd be interested in investigating for me. Well, since I am feeling stronger, the magic of poisoning is reversing itself due to an increase in my own magic and the help of Naloth and... My goodness. Tolf, dear, I think I'm ready to help you. How can I help? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. Where do I begin? I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Niche Corner Club. What? You don't if he provides you him. any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. Oh, okay. Can't afford to make any mistakes. All right. Um, so what can you tell me about House Halalu? Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire 
may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. I presume that was their downfall? Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dunma people's suffering. What happened to House Halalu as a result? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the council. And how are things now that the mines are open again? You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mines open. But all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstein crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. You mentioned your sources. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunmer settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Why don't you ask them to investigate? Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. All right, then. I'll get to work immediately. Don't worry. You can trust Geldus. He's been with us for a long time. Well, that's good to know, because I was hoping you weren't saying he was a traitor. All right, Nematis. Let's go. You know, I'm sorry that the Stolrim armor isn't really working out for you. You seem to be knocked out just as easily. What can I do for you, friend? As when you were wearing the mercenary armor. All right, let's go. Good to see you. Oh, you too, Glover. I'm Gildas. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. A drill said you might be able to help me. Well, well. Agile's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. You think he's mistaken? No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Oh, really? You have a better idea? <laughs> Actually, I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. Nothing. I, I was just How do I get them to do that? There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Oh! Oh! All right, anyhow. I'm sorry I got... Okay, this, this does not look... This doesn't look kosher. Anyhow, why haven't you told Adril about this? What makes you think I have it? Any time Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulins must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. All right, thanks for the tip. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb Adrian, and wait until your visitor shows Memphis, up. I'm quite busy at the moment. Why hasn't a Redoran guard been posted at my shop like I've requested? Come, Come back if you're feeling know. thirsty. I'll spare anyone I'll set right you up right. I don't care if you still have friends at the East Empire Company or not. Okay, wh why? Long why is everybody so staring at me? Next corner. Come on. Home of a finest suit jammer. That All right, ho hold on. I had some more questions, and I, I felt very um, uncomfortable on the bar. 
The morn's open. Why did Councillor? Excuse me, but why did Councillor kill this? Why did Councillor Boravane execute an Ulan? Back in '94, Vila Ulan came to Raven Rock with a plan to take over our town. But Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redoran Guard, and then murder Councillor Morvane when we weren't looking. Villar did this alone? He arrived alone, but spread enough coin around to start changing people's mind. Half a bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? And how did Villar get caught? He underestimated the Redder and Gar. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Villar tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Veleth himself. Villar Ulan was executed a short time later. And his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. How this? How's that pretty young daughter of yours doing? And why do the Dunmer leave ash yams in their tombs? They're so delicious, it seems like they're wasted on the dead. When the Dunmer is laid to rest, the body is burned and returned to the ashen soil. Since the ash yam is born of the very same soil, it represents rebirth and renewal. The fact that life ends and begins anew. And one last question. How are things now that the mines are open again? How do you think? It's a blessing. I've got regular paying customers again. Thirsty workers at the end of the day, and more coin than I can count. Alright. Well, I know who to rob if thirsty. I'm short of I'll money. Up right. Okay. Come on. Let's go, Nematis. It's kind of ugly out here. It must be a an ash storm coming. Okay, let's see. It looks like we're going into the Olin ancestral tomb. Not sure what we're supposed to do. Well, this is interesting how they bury their dead. Okay, um, I guess we need to wait. Hi, Nematis, there, someone's coming. I guess I'm just supposed to confront her now? Excuse me. Ah, excuse me. Excuse me. I didn't realize there was anyone else here. What are you doing here? I presume the same thing you're doing. Leaving an offering for the departed. Oh, of course, yes. Oh, give my surprise. It's just that I wouldn't expect that sort of behavior from someone who isn't Dunma. You aren't an Ulan? Since there aren't any Ulans left on this island, 
I've taken it upon myself to leave the traditional offering in their stead. I think you need to tell me why you're really here. What do you mean? I thought I was clear. I'm simply honoring a fellow departed Dunma. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to meditate a bit. Hmm. Okay, whatever. All right, let's go, Nematis. Okay, let's see if we can, um... Am I reporting back to Adril? I believe I am. I hope Geld has proved useful. Have you made any progress? Yes, I have. I suspect that Tillisu Severin is the culprit. Tillisu? Are you sure? I saw her in the Ulan tomb. So Geldus's plan worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. If Tillisu's involved in any sort of plot to harm Counselor Morvay... I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. Piles of armor to repair for the Redoran guards. So, go search their house. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. If you're wrong about Telesur, things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real culprits might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. What if they try to stop me? If you have evidence, and it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Beth Here, is. this How's key should open the front door, door of the manor in what case they've the locked it. Good luck. Nothing. I, I was Can you tell me more about the Severin family? Like Telesu is wife to Talk the family to patriarch, Vendor. They have a single child, a daughter named Miri. They arrived here ten years ago and have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. A benefit? How? They're quite wealthy, and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. Nothing unusual about them at all. People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Just make sure you find solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. So the entire town hmm. get nearly We can't have that now, can we? And put it on my account. Be careful. If the Severans have betrayed us, then they'll be well armed. Oh, that's okay. The Thank you. Nomadus? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Did you f You've brought Raven Rock back from the brink, Traveler. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, it was nothing. Is something amiss, Sindiri? I can sense your concern. It's nothing. I'm going to be fine. All right, Where Captain Velet would go? never allow anything to happen to us. Perhaps that's reassuring enough for you. It's something that still keeps me awake. Stand guard out here. We've stopped. What is it? Very well. Just be careful. Thank you. And one other thing.
quite a big place. station and enchanting table and look at all these fire salts and frost salts oh no what why are they walking around with knives of skulls. Trying to spare you your life. A roll of paper, would that have anything on it? Safe. The Ulan Matter. Dear Counselor Salden, in a matter of days, I believe we'll be ready. Our forces hidden within Ashfall follow Citadel. Have been training night and day, ready to strike when we give the signal. With Captain Veloth distracted by the Ashbone attacks. The timing seems perfect. I've waited nearly a decade to extract my revenge upon Lilaril Morvane for the death of my ancestor, and I long for the moment. My blade will be drawn across his throat. The next letter you receive from me will include his head in a sack. Display it proudly in the halls of House Halalu, brother, Vindil Ulin. Well, I think this is the evidence. Oh, look at this Wraith Guard. In addition to 10% resistance to all elements, you receive a 20% chance to reflect their blows. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we'll take this, too. What's this ancient letter? I might need to read this as well. The conditions here in Vardenfell are worsening by the moment. Red Mountain spews a nearly non-stop gout of ash and flame, and I fear that I cannot remain much longer. I have done what I could to preserve a few relics from the museum, but I have one very vital artifact that I am entrusting to you, dear Vindel. It is a relic that the great saint once held as a prize, and that both saved and doomed Morrowind in the end. The Dwemer, Wraithguard of Kagranak. I entrust it to you. Keep it safe. And once house... Halalu is once again in power. You can display it proudly. 
It is a relic of our legacy, dear friend. Guard it well. Yes, it's a relic that's going into my museum. Thank you very much. Okay. I think we've got everything. What was that? Uh-oh. I don't know if I have enough time for the shroud walk. Let me try invisibility. There. Hmm. Cleared out, I guess. Okay, well. The Mattis? Finally, you're back. Yeah, follow me. Excellent. We have what we need. And no one died. All right, more vain manner. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? What? Who, who said that? You? Because I'm here to see you, Adriel. Did you find any evidence at Severin Manor yet? I did. I found evidence proving the Severin's guilt. Then we finally have them. All that remains now is chasing them down and bringing them to justice. I don't think they'll give up willingly. Good. I'm going to send two of the best Rerun guard we have to take them down. I want you to assist them any way you can. All right, I'll head there immediately. See that you do. We can't afford to let these traitors slip away. Ashfallow Citadel's been abandoned for a long time. Be ready for anything. All right, Nematis, are you ready? Let's go. All right, we're headed to Ash Fallow Citadel. Let's bring that up on the map. All right, we're probably gonna be right in the thick of things. Here we go. What? Over here. Get them. Assassins. Oh no. No, oh, the Redoran Guard, they've been slain. And these were supposedly the best. but still. I am a relic hunter after all. All right, here we go, Nematis. Is someone there? Huh? What? Who, who said that? I 
guess I was just hearing things. Did I get him? I got you, Nomadis. All right. Another assassin. Suddenly, I, I feel much better. Good. Tonight? All right, I'll take it. All right, let's go quietly. Job. That went pretty well. It did. All things considered. A safe. What's in here? Ritual gauntlets of Boethia. I'll take those. I don't think we need it though. Sniffing.
and you. Oh no, this was the Severin girl. Ring of Horror. Okay, I can flee from combat. this? Oh, a practice room. Okay. Apologies. Alright, you're alright. traps. Okay, come on. All right, move. Huh? That's it. Keep keep backing up. Come on. Apologies. Just just back up. The matters. Thank you. Thank you. Can right. I help you? It's open. All right, I need this bound sword. So I have a lot of soul gems I need to fill. these traps. You see another um chain? Oh look, there's two of them. Apologies. Or, or the map could. Apologies. Yeah, just back up. Thank you. All right, that did it.
Got the feeling there's trouble ahead. Oh, there's trouble, all right. You know what? I think I know of a way to make there less trouble. care of that. Oh, here's the, the woman, Tillisu. So what do we have here? Nothing that valuable. All right, I think we're done. You all right, Nematis? Come on. Oh, there he is. Something about you just doesn't add up. Andrew? Considering the differences well, between what us. Were you able to track down Vendel? Out with it. Smelling trouble. Oh, he's no longer a threat. Then, I promise you. It's finally over. What of the Redder and Guard? I sent to assist you. Really? You really want to ask that question? Your best guard. I have to tell you that they were slain, both of them, by the Morag Tong. Damn it. I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not end up with casualties. To think that Vendel would stoop so low as to hire those fetchers. I'm glad you killed him. I did what had to be done. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Councillor Morvain will be quite pleased when he hears about this. Follow me, and I'll take you to the Councillor so you can speak to him yourself. Oh, okay. All right, come on, the Mattis. What can I do for you, friend? I'm here to see the Excuse counselor. Excuse me, Councillor Morvey. What is I it? I have some wonderful news. Adriel, I haven't seen a smile on your face like that in a long time. This visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. 
Vendel, Telesu, and Miri Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? But he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. I should have been more vigilant. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you, step forward. What you've done for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Well, thank you, Counselor. Now, I'm certain Adril was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something more substantial. No? Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor and everything contained within. You've earned your citizenship here, and I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. Oh, well, thank you. I'm flattered. Oh, and so much gold, too. Well, you're quite welcome, and you're quite generous, and it's, it would be an honor to become a citizen here. Okay, Nematis, it's time for us to go check out our new house. Come on. Severin Manor. Apologies. It's all right. Make yourself at home. All right, I think you're going to need to stay here and rest. You've taken such terrible beatings over the past few days. Let's get going. So you get some rest, and I'll come back for you soon. I think I'm also going to ask a doctor to come in and check on him. I mean, that man has taken so many beatings. Seems like he can hardly stay on his feet. Alright, well, it's time to see who else needs my help, or if it's now time for me to face Mirak. <laughs> 